Uh, hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, we are on churn number 10 for this DCS uh, liberation campaign uh, for the Georgian map. And uh, yeah, I got shot down last last round. Uh, yep, gotta do a better job. I, You know, when your life really isn't in danger, you really don't take it seriously. Uh, so I should do a better job of that. So what are our efforts today? Um, well, Frontline is pretty close to taking this base, although it is just full of units. So uh, I don't know if uh, we're going to be able to take it, but um, we have about 30 units right here, but they also have about, um, what, 30 units too? 29 units, yeah. And plus all the other uh, static units. So we are sending in uh, A-10s and F-16s uh just to try to um try to take the space that would be sweet if we could take it we will see um, i'm still in the elimination settings so their focus is on eliminating rather than um moving forward like on a breakthrough because you're not going to take it unless all these units are dead anyways so elimination will be fine uh for me though what my objective today is to do an anti-ship and i am part of a huge package flying off to washington uh, I am just going to do a single ship because AI has issues attacking um, when you're, or me directing attack. So uh, I think that'll work. So I'll consider myself part of this four ship here. Uh, then I got another four ship. Hopefully all those jets can take off at the same time, uh, crossing fingers. Uh, and additionally, I do have six Hornets flying out of um, Kolki hitting these at the same time. Uh, so I'm hopeful that we can just saturate their um, the uh, uh, the what the anti missiles <laughs> missile batteries and um, can overwhelm them with the number of so we got what eight eight and we got 14 so yeah we're looking at 64 uh, harpoons in the air at the same time so that's the objective for my group today. And then, of course, uh, we're still defending here. And, um, yeah, hopefully we can take out one or two of these ships and then uh, take this base and then get ourselves more established. And then um, we can start pushing this front up now. That would be the objective. But, yeah, anytime I was flying that, getting up to here with the cast support, um, they were just getting shot down by the ships or the SA-10. Yeah, so the combination between the SA-10 here and the ships, we just can't. We haven't been able to make a dent. So hopefully now we can. So uh, with that, let's go ahead and get into the game, and I'll be on the deck. All right, I'll see you in a bit. All right, welcome back. We are on the flight deck. Uh, we've got some uh, Tomcats all lined up, getting ready to take off. So let's get this bird started up and get off this deck so we're not causing a traffic jam. You know, I've... All right, we're good. Let's go engine crank right. My Tomcat off. Pretty cool. All right, looks like we got a good engine light in the left engine. All right.
I'm pretty sure that's probably all set up. 3032. Zero three two. A little rusty this morning. Yeah, let's go ahead and do stored heading because we want to get off this deck. We are at 46,000 pounds. And I think the TACAN was 32 X ray. ILS, channel 2. And yeah, leave that off. Excellent. All right, this birdie, this bird, birdie, that's funny. This bird is almost ready. And 46, let's go 17 on the stabilizers. So half flaps. That's good. And SA page is up. We'll turn on all that good stuff once we get in the air. to get off the deck while so I don't interfere with anything populating bright sun huh all right cool some choppiness going on. Huh.
cool. They've populated. Excellent. Salute. Sounds right, huh? Looks <laughs> like about four hundred feet. Dang, man, I'm running 120 on my FPS right now. Not too shabby. I also turned down my anti-aliasing down to 8. Um, I found that it really helps out a lot. So, kind of excited about that. I don't need the 4090. Oh, that's a beautiful card, though, huh? I'll, uh, I'll stick with the 6900 XT for a while. I think I might wait a generation. All right, we're at 380 feet. Getting a little slow. All right, seven miles. So let's go ahead and go up to waypoint one. Like those F 18s are populating. Awesome. And Bullseye today is. Point seven. Not that it matters. Huh. There's some different sounds in the F eighteen with this new update, 2.8. Should be pretty straightforward package today. Looks like Team Red and Blue are at it. Ouch. Fourteens providing cap support. Very nice. Let's 
come to channel two. Time is two zero. Looks like the uh, yeah, they're all taken off. Good deal. That's better. That's that's better. Change the mode, you gotta. Can't do it until you have something uh, locked up. Wish you could do that differently, but that's alright. Alright, two and a half minutes for push time. Actually, about three minutes. Basically, we want to launch at 2533. Okay, 2533. Where's my ships? Do a little war check here. Uh oh. That's quite the uh, battle going on there, huh? Nice, we're taking out the Shikas. Shikas. Let's 
pretty clean so far. And a SA-10 needs to go down. Uh, let's see if we can take out a ship or two here. Good job, Team Blue. Uh, I think you can see that off the thing, but yeah, a couple A runs are doing well right now. That'd be sweet if we could take that base. Alright, push time is. Now. Just get my jammer up. Might need it with the SA-10 there. <laughs> All right, I see some ships on my radar there. That's a good thing. All right, what time am I supposed to be there? Three fifteen, and maybe a little bit behind. That's all right.
aren't these guys doing their thing? All right, let's take a peek at F10. Just curious. Let's see what these guys are doing. All right, I'll. Uh, Oh yeah, Team Blue's going for it. Nice. I'm just going to fly over there, see why they're not doing their thing. Yeah, it's pretty much useless for me to launch my four um, harpoons without them firing too. So that's why I'm wondering why they are not do anything past waypoint one. I also noticed the uh, AI was not doing anything at uh, on the last mission too. Truck killed a tow. What are they doing? Zero, zero, three, 
Yeah, I think there's something broken with uh, this new update with AI and how the Liberation Campaign is maybe designed. Or, They are doing nothing. Nothing, I tell you, nothing. Well, let's go ahead and launch my uh, my weaponry. That's a good sign. You have to get on Discord after this to see if uh, see if there's anything going on about the 2.8. Yeah, we really need to take the ships out. Can't really advance. I guess we could beef up our army units and um, <laughs> just <laughs> do our best to take the base that way. I think these are all set up. Let's go ahead and do this. Looks like that is my target. And I just lost all contact. Designate. So we are in range and let's go ahead and fire. Dang it, man. Nobody's engaging. Here comes all the anti ship missiles. Oh, well. Get in and see if we can't do a little bit of wild weasel. Oh man. Lost an A10. Lost two A10s. Dang. Three five eight, huh? For ninety.
Oh yeah, they're active. Did they launch? That's a negative. The SA-10 is not pinging me. Dang it. <laughs> I got zero indication they fired on me. Zero indication. <laughs> oh, I am not good. <laughs> Zero indication. Oh, uh, good luck, harpoons. <laughs> yeah, nothing. No engagement by any of these anti-ship flights. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to check out to see what's going on there. So I think that... Yeah, I'll have to figure out what's going on. So, bummer. I got. I knew I was getting close. I know that was dumb, uh, but I was getting nothing on my uh, RWR. And apparently you don't have to. I didn't get anything until that last minute. So they must have been launched it and just had a passive scanning going on because I did see them on that, and then they turned it on, and then it activated when it got close. That's that's my best explanation, and my lack of intelligence on this. Uh, that's too bad. Yeah, what hit me though? It was a SA, SA-10. So it was a grumble. Uh, it was probably off the ship. And these guys are just going to fly around and do nothing. Uh, how's the war going on over here? This is the important one. So, yeah, they're going to advance on here. So there's some war left to do here. And then we got some A-10s. in the area. Yeah, so let's see how this plays out. Um, so, yep, again, I go down. and <laughs> So, I will see you at debrief. I am going to watch this for a while. So, I'll see you in a bit. Hello everybody, welcome back. Ah, so they were able to take that base. I watched it through. Took forever. <laughs> Basically when uh, Bradley got in, was able to take out the um, the BMPs that were on the base. And uh, so it took a bit. And I, yeah, n none of those anti-ship flights went past the hold pattern there at waypoint one. 
So I think there might be a bug or something, a script changed with the 2.8 that um, something about the AI just can't move forward based upon what liberation, I don't know, whatever the script says for that. So I'm gonna check out the uh, the uh, the uh, what is going on. I'm not sure what the aircraft destroyed is why it's zero. Uh, that's not correct because I did get shot down again. Uh, but let's go ahead and accept the results. And um, okay, it says nothing is up there. But yeah, look what we got. We got Lakini. Uh, so let me save here <laughs> before we lose that base. And um, and then I will um, go ahead and task up and see you next time. But yeah, it looks like we've increased by about thirty million dollars. So a little bit more, but at least now we have uh, multiple bases going on, and uh, we can work this front here. So that'd be good. Um, but okay, so I will see you next time. Thanks for uh, joining, and I hope you had fun watching me get shot down again. <laughs> Um, so, uh, better luck next time for me. All right. So take care. All right. Bye-bye.